hear this. You are not alone. This is the resistance. What's up everyone? This is Chris Sheldon, the leader of the resistance. If you're watching this, you are the resistance. And today I've got quite a few items to cover here. First off, Cole, you've been a very bad boy. I uh, get home from work last night and come to find out Thomas is really pissed at me. Apparently he had a conversation with me last night pertaining to specific items and apparently I was threatening him and it was under your profile with your cartoon character's picture and whatnot. So apparently I'm on your profile talking shit to Thomas. Now Cole, I like you. You're a nice guy. You're my friend. I like you. But don't ever let me hear of you pretending to be me ever again. And that goes for anybody else. Don't ever pretend to be me. And don't ever assume to speak for me on my behalf. The only two that are authorized to do that are Thomas and John, my two tactical advisors. They're the only ones with authority to speak on my behalf. And secondly, Thomas, you know me a hell of a lot better than that. I'm not going to go hiding on a different profile and talk shit. You know, if I've got something to say to you, I'll call you up or I'll say it right to your face. You know, there's only those few rarities that we actually sit there and talk on Facebook. So, yeah, dude. You know me better than that. So, if you honestly think that that was me on Cole's profile, shame on you. You're my friend, bro. But come on, man. I know you're smarter than that. Don't ever think that if somebody's talking to you via any other profile other than my profile, then you know it's not me, bro. And that goes for anybody else. You get contacted by somebody else pretending to be me, you know, not just Cole, but anybody. Unless it's my specific profile, the only profile I use, then it ain't me. So, you know, the, you know, I'm going to move on from that now. Now, let's talk about Wiener. Now, I've been hearing a lot of shit about this motherfucker. Frankly, I've got to laugh. You know, apparently Wiener's been che fucking cheating on his wife. Wiener, is, it's all over the news that Wiener is sending out pictures of his Wiener. Sorry, I just love that more. So, apparently, you know, this fool's sending out pictures of his Wiener and shit. You know, whatever. First of all, it ain't none of anybody's fucking business what happens in a person's personal life, whether they're celebrity, politician, whatever the fuck. It ain't nobody's fucking business. Okay? Secondly, the biggest problem I fucking have here is the hypocrisy. I, I saw in the news yesterday that they're calling for him to resign his political commission. You know, naturally, you know, maybe he should, but the, with the media, it's a fucking double-edged sword here. You know, on the one hand, they're telling this clown to resign. And on the other hand, you've got media left and right, you know, movies, television, music videos that are pro-anti-marriage, pro-adultery, Pro, unprotected, and even underage sex. Uh, can we say hypocrite? Come the fuck on. Seriously, you give me such a fucking headache, and you wonder why I don't like TV. Why I won't fucking pay for cable. Duh. Yeah, you know, come on. Which end of the spectrum is it? Are you, is the media pro? Fish? Is, are they pro? fucking anti-marriage and 
pro adultery and all this shit, or aren't they? You know, it's like it's like the subject of abortion. Even it's like, are you pro life or are you pro choice? You know, you got people on media playing both ends of the spectrum here. Okay, which is it? Is the sky blue or red? Seriously, knock off the fucking hypocrisy. You're giving me a fucking headache. Which brings me to another concern. They're putting on, it seems to be another spectacle. Now, it seems like the old magician's trick. Keep looking at this fucking hand, not knowing what this hand is doing. You know, I do that quite a bit. You know, I got you focusing on me. You don't know what this hand's doing. I'm fucking tinkering on the computer, you know, popping off the Dukes of Hazzard orb. So, you know, kind of begs the question. Where do the, what is the new world up, new world order up to that they don't want us to see? They got us looking over here and shit. You know, what are they doing while we're looking over there? You know, while we're watching this little spectacle with Wiener, what the fuck are they doing that's going to fuck us up the ass? Seriously, people, let's look into this shit. Uh, you know, seriously, uh, I don't even know what more to say about this. It's about the dumbest load of bullshit I've had to deal with in a long time. So, Wiener, stop being a Wiener. Media, make up your damn minds on what you are. Me, personally, I'm pro-family. I'm anti-adultery, anti-underage sex shit. You know, I'm very much pro-family, pro-marriage. You know, marriage and children within that sanctity. You know, that's that's how it's always been. You know, you get married, you have kids. You know, now it's all over the fucking media. You know, I, I want to be with this person, but I don't want to marry them. And I want to have kids with this person, but I don't want to marry them. And then we're going to go off and cheat on them with this person or that person. And it gets all big, one clusterfuck in the tabloids. And I'm just sitting here looking at all this shit, you know, just walking through Walmart. You see all the magazines all over the fucking place. Fuck. Makes me want to pluck out my own damn eyes. So again, media, stop being hypocrites. New world order. Cut the shit. And wiener... Just stop being a wiener. This is Chris Sheldon. If you are watching this, you are the resistance. You can hear this. You are not alone. This is the resistance.